What's up, yo? <laughs> so, you want to learn how to get more traffic to your website. What's going on, everybody? My name is Ryan. I'm from RyanRaban.com. And you're in this video because you want to know how to get more traffic to your website, right? And before I start, I want to go ahead and tell you that look for that bell that's in the bottom right of the uh, the video and hit that bell so you can get notified when I upload or go live um, on YouTube. And go, since you're there and you're staying in that area, I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe channel because I'll be uploading some videos and that's going to be showing all of you guys how to make money from online. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the number one source that I'm using to get traffic to my websites and other, and other websites, right? So you're here because you're either getting no traffic into your website or you're getting very little traffic to your website and it's starting to frustrate you and you're not, you don't know what to do. Or maybe you know, you're doing really well and you want another way or another source that you can get more eyes into your website and um, or maybe even double or triple your traffic and possibly make more money for you, right? Who doesn't want to make more money? I know I do, all right? So just really quick, you know, I want to say these two things. There's two components that you really need to do um, you need to have um, when you're running um, when you're running traffic or even in a home business, right? And that's you need, to, you need to have a capture page and you need to really have an autoresponder, right? And the capture page is a page where people um, go into and they enter the email and you get to capture that. That's why it's called the capture page. And now the email, what happens is it goes to your autoresponder. Your autoresponder is actually where your, those emails are being stored and you can use the, or, or they're called subscribers and it's stored there so you can later on email them in the future or however way you want, however you want, you want to email them. It could be either daily, every other day, or weekly, or whatever it is, right? Now, if you don't have one or the other, because you do need both, right? And you want a recommendation of which one you use, I'm going to go ahead and leave um, in, the, in the description box my number one recommendations for um, an autoresponder and also a capture page, all right? So real quick, I'm just going to go and share my screen. Give me one second, and I'll do that. Hey, now we're back, right? So how to get more traffic is how to get more traffic to see your websites, right? And I'm gonna move myself down here from the screen, okay? So the number one thing that I the number one source that I use is called Udemy. Udemy is a network of vendors where you can go and purchase um solo ads. Now a solo ad is a a email sequence that's sent out to a list, and what happens is that this list um that the vendor has, he email blasts his list, your um your your link or your website so people can get eyes on it as soon as, as fast as possible all right so what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and sign up and get what you're going to do is you enter your email and it's free by the way it's free to sign up enter your email here and once you enter your email uh, you go to the next page it's going to ask you for a name and also just pass so once you, once you do all that getting and get into this web this is the main welcome page right so this is the home screen of udemy um or udemy whichever way you want to call it Right, so here on the right or left side, you're gonna see some tabs uh, where it says my solo. So if you ran solos already, so, solo ads, if the whole list of all your solo ads is gonna be on this side. Here are the messages. This is uh, the area where you can you know, privately messaging your vendors. Now, you know, the, why, the reason why you wanna message your vendors is because you wanna build a relationship with them, right? You really wanna learn, uh, know, like, and trust them. Same thing with them to you, you to them, right? You wanna build a relationship so yeah, you guys can have, um, a, a good a good communication with each other right so that if you want to use them in the future you know you'll not you're not going to have any issues or if there is issues in the future you'll be able to re, um, resolve those without you know going any legal routes okay so that's one of the reasons why you want to be able to message your vendors and also build a relationship with them okay um next one is your ad text here in the ad text you can either you know you can name whatever it was um Right, and then you can put you can put the link here to your website and just click save and you know, whatever it would be. Um, and just hit save, right? So now your link is gonna be saved into your back office of Udemy. Alright, so then it's come up slow. Alright. Well once you hit save, it'll be there it goes right there. Now if you want to add a new swipe. A new swipe would be basically, it's just like you're sending out an email, right, um, to a list. And so this is what you're going to use because you're going to be you're going to be sending this to your vendor as well, right? So the subject line I'm going to say could be um, my subject, right? And here is going to be the body of your text of your email. Now, 
there's four key components of um, an email that you want to use. You want to be able to one identify a pain, identify pains of your audience or who you, who it is your market is. Two, you want to be able to make a bold statement. No, make a bold statement. Three, um, you want to have offer the solution, right? Solution to to the pain. All right, and number four is your call to action, okay? So those are the four key components of your body of your email now. Not everybody uses this. I use it. I'm, I'm doing very well with it. I know a lot of people that are doing very well with this sequence. All right, so that's something that's just a little bit a little bit extra for today. <laughs> all right, so here in the money section, all right, here in the money section, it's basically, it's going to tell you, um, like, for instance, if you had a, a refund of how much money you have left here, it's all in the balance, plus or minus. All right, so um, here you're gonna, you, like I said, it's gonna show you your balance here. But for instance, if um, you run a solo ad and um, it didn't go so well, and the person refunds your money, you're gonna have a balance here, okay? Because you're not gonna actually get money back, but you're gonna have money towards your account, so it's almost like a credit, okay? So let's check here my landers, opt-in trackings. I use my own opt, -in, my own, my own tracking um, um, software, not software, but my own tracking app, and I'll put that in the description box below. All right. Basic settings, general, you know, how to seller set up. You know, if you want to be a seller or, you know, affiliate, you can actually sign up to be an affiliate if you click on affiliates right here. All right, so just go through this really quick. I'm not going to go through in, through in depth with this one. Um, I want to show you guys how to actually go and choose a vendor and how to run a solo ad, okay? So um, to find a vendor, if you here, find sellers. Uh, you can choose here and fill. These are about your these are basically your filters, right? If you want to say, for instance, run a quick solo ad and within 24 to 48 hours, or maybe have something one in three days, you can choose whatever one you want, right? So say for instance, you want to run a solo ad in 24 hours, right? And here you can choose how many clicks or visitors that you want. So you have um, 300 clicks you want to run and your budget's only 35 to 60 cents, all right? And you want somebody here. So what this means right here is basically, um, the percentage of sales that this person's, this solo vendor's customers has had within his last 100 runs. So in the last 100 runs of him having um, running solo ads for people, 40% of those people made money, all right? So they made sales, all right? So if you click 40%, and we can also go by ratings, likes, or whatever, right? So here, here's Daniel Hubbard. He's, um, he's a really good solo vendor. Um, another tip, <laughs> all right? So if we go into his profile, you click on his profile, all right, it's gonna come up just like this. You're gonna see he has 1,329 people that like him. 51% of the last 100 solo ads that he ran, 51% of those, those people made some sales. Now, it's not gonna tell you how much money they made, but it's just gonna tell you that, you know, he's made, um, he's gotten sales for them, all right? Next one is here, this is the price per visit or price per click, or click per price, all right? Price, yeah, price per click, all right? Now, if you go down in the bottom here, right? This is where um, you can you, you can you're gonna select how many visitors you actually do want or how many clicks that you want. If you want to purchase 300, 400, 500, up to a thousand, or you can use this to slide off, slide over. So you can notice the number of the visitors here, and also the price changes. I right, said so now this price here is actually how much you're gonna be, it's gonna cost for 275 visitors. If we go to a thousand, this is the price it's gonna cost for a thousand visitors, right, right here. All right, so. Um, now, if now the another now well, another way to choose a vendor is you want to look at these statistics right here. These statistics are very very important, right? It, the top tier countries are considered your top five most uh your five most speaking English speaking countries, right? These are the United States, Canada, Australia. Here it says India. I don't know why, but it says India and New Zealand. Okay, but um, it's actually UK, right? So and then Filtered clicks is 26%. Filtered clicks, what that specifically means is clicks that's not going through. Um, so with his, with, with him, it's it, it's a little different to tell. Like you're gonna see when you start doing, um, working on solos, um, different filtered clicks. And with his record or his um, reputation, 26% is really, it's not bad, it's borderline for me. I, anything 25% and above, I really try not to use. But because I know him, I, I would use him in the future. All right, so that's just one uh, one way to find a seller through using a filter clicks. Now, if you go to solo deals, a lot of times you're gonna find certain um, deals that's up here. 
Um, people maybe they're running a discounted price, like 14% off for, for, um, for Jorge or George. All right, so let's click on, let's actually know what, let's click on George. All right, so George, I'm gonna go back real quick and explain this to you. All right, so um, George has 129 likes. He has one bad review. I don't know what the review could have been. It could have been a bad run or maybe the, you know, the, you know, something happened and the person just didn't like, you know, whatever happened there, right? So he, here George has had, or Jorge has had 123 orders altogether, all right? And like I said, he's got out of the 129 orders, 129 people like, 123 orders, 120 people like him. And here, they, you know, he'll give you a brief description of who he, uh, who he uh, sells to. Premium seller for Mo, Dan, you know, BA, OSP, MC, and other separate, other programs. So basically, he's telling you what his list responds more to, okay, and than any other pre, uh, any other um, opportunities. All right. So what to expect from my service here? He says 85 to 100, 100 percent top tier one traffic, which is USA, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and the UK. Right. Um, he does provide a buyer's list. He does provide 100 unique clicks, not raw clicks. 10 percent over delivery guaranteed. So top-notch customers, all right? So this is basically just a description of what his services are. And once again, you know, you're going to go down here and, you know, look. So here, he's got 90% of top-tier traffic and also 24% filter clicks, which is okay, all right? So uh, just to go back up, again, you can just go ahead and filter out or move at speed um, how many clicks you want to purchase here. For him, at the first one, he only accepts 500 visitors right now as the max. And for 500 visitors, he's only charging $280. Okay, so now here, this is what I wanted to explain to you. Remember we were going over the swipe copy and going over um, your, your ad text? Like if you write down your ad, if you hit ad text and everything that I previously wrote before, it's gonna come up here, your subject line um, and the body of the text that you had made before. All right, so, um, so that's when it's gonna come up. So when, he, when you purchase, you add to cart, right? He's gonna be able to see this here. All right, and he's going to be able to see what you wrote and send it out to your list. All right, so this is some reviews that's down here. Um, you got people who purchased global ads and they made a review for him down here underneath of, on the bottom. All right, so just to go back to the top, um, you know, go through different vendors, look what, look and see, and look through their profiles and see what um, what resonates with you and your opportunity. Right, um, clicks available in remote weight loss. Fee. These people, they tell you exactly what they use or what their list is responsive to, right? So you want to be able to, you know, choose the right vendor because if you choose somebody that's in the wrong and doesn't offer a, a, a responsive list to your site or to people of your audience or your customers, you know what? You're just going to be wasting money and we don't want you to do that. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm teaching you this here so you don't waste your money, all right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, let me see. Affiliates, you know, you can become an affiliate with Udemy. Um, here it tells you you'll earn 15% off on all solo orders from your referrals, which is the lifetime. Plus, you'll receive 50% off all Prime subscription for a lifetime. And all your refer all of your referrals, you're going to be able to get five dollars discount from Udemy after registration. Um, you don't lose the money on discount. All right, so this is good here, right? So I mean, you get this is your affiliate link. You're going to be able to send this out to people, whoever uh, that you want to. And if you want to promote Udemy um, on your on your blog, you got uh, places here where you can use the banners and you know, put this up on the word on your blogs. Uh, logos, you can use these logos as well, you know, for you to me. Um, let me see here, referrals. And if you want to be so generous and buy a gift certificate for somebody, you know. <laughs> anyway, but you can go and, do, go and do that. And also you have the forum here. The forum here, you know, people post up in here and they, they either are looking for specific jobs, you know, or they're looking for help, right? So someone here, hi there, I'm looking for someone who can help me with the drive traffic to my site. It's about a pet and home scene. So he's, this person specifically can't find the right vendor. So if they throw out an ad and the vendor actually looks here and says, hey, you know what? That's actually my niche. Or, or my list is responsive to this specific one. They can go ahead and they can respond to this right away. So you can send them a message. All right. Let me see here. What else we have here? We have uh, Chuck Solo. Hello, who can, who can or knows a seller that can deliver personal development law of attraction traffic. Let me know, thanks, right? So these are basically, you know, like, you know, people throwing out offers that they can't find, you know, stuff that's responsive to the other parts of the, uh, parts of these two areas of the five seller and the seller, right? So the form is really good. Um, and believe it or not, look, this person got 21 views, you know, one reply, 106 views, five replies, 32 views. People are responsive in here, 
You know what I'm saying? There are there are you know people that can't find certain uh, solos, solo vendors. But if you do, um, if they do uh, post over here, sometimes you can find your solo vendor over here. All right. So <clears throat> now, how to choose the right vendor? And I'm gonna stop sharing my screen real quick because I want to be able to see you guys. All right. So how to start? How to um, how to choose the right vendor, right? And and without being scammed, because a lot of times, you know, there, there's a lot of ways that people get scammed. And um, and one way you do that is you gotta really go through a process that's called, you know, like you gotta go through like a vendor selection process, basically what it's called, you know, and that I learned is from what it's called, right? You wanna be able to do your research, right? Uh, and make sure that the vendor that you're using, you know, if they have a personal page or if you go outside and get um, solo ad vendors from outside of Udemy, or whatever, but I, mean, I like Unity better because it's much safer. You want to be able to make sure that that person's real. And if you're reading the testimonials, make sure the people that's making the testimonials, they're real people. Like, for instance, you can go search on social media. You know, for instance, if you type in, you know, Gene Francis made a testimonial for Daniel, go type in Gene Francis into social media or Facebook or, or Instagram and see if that picture matches up with them. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, the people who are giving these testimonials are real and they're not fake, all right? Um, another thing you want to do is, you never want to go with somebody that just only accepts um, PayPal. You know, most vendors, most real vendors, they accept PayPal and other forms of payment. And like I said, you want to really just connect with your vendor, build a relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, nothing. You know, if something happens in the future where um, you know you need to resolve something with them, it'll be a nice smooth operation. Or maybe you know what? In the future, you tell your vendor, you know, you guys are working really good with each other, and you tell your vendor, hey, I got a little problem here. He may do you a favor, or maybe he'll cut you. Uh, Cut you a big discount on the next solo one, or maybe he'll give you extra extra clicks on your on your next solo one or something like that. All right. So um, another thing is you want to ask five simple questions, and those five questions are you know what you want to you want to know if they're going to use your email swipe copy because some vendors don't, and the reason why you want to know if they're going to use your swipe copy is because you want to make sure that your copy, your email is congruent to what your capture pages or your what what, you, what it says on your website, right? So for instance, and I'll give you an example of that, right? So if your capture page, for instance, you're selling health and wellness products, right? And you're selling in your in your um in your website, you know, the header says, you know, how to lose weight and blah, 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 blah. Right. And then and then if they don't use your copy, right, and they send out a swipe copy for traveling, it's not congruent, right? So the person who's actually gonna be seeing an email is gonna be seeing an email swipe for traveling, right? Now, when they click on that link, they're going to be going towards something that's health and wellness, and it's two different niches, right? And so it doesn't really, it doesn't match up, right? But that's why you want to make sure that they're using the right um, email copy for you. If they say no, then move on to the next person. Go interview somebody else, all right? So you want to be able to qualify these vendors as much as possible. So the number, the second question you want to ask is, um, you want to ask, uh, see if they have, um, you want to be able to choose 85% um, of top tier traffic. So ask them if they have. If, if they have an 85% or more on top tier traffic, like, again, like I said again before, top tier traffic are your five um, uh, most English speaking countries. That's USA, Canada, Australia, uh, the UK, and New Zealand, right? So, so make sure to find out if they have 85% and above. There's more of the chances that you're going to get um, get that. Is that because you know, if you're swipe copying the email copy and your, your website is in English, you want English speaking people, right? Or people who do speak English majority of the time. So you want to have more of a chance of them being hit. Um, than people who don't speak English, right? So number three, you want to ask, um, when was the last time they actually ran a solo ad with somebody that's in your company? Okay, so for instance, if your company has a done-for-you uh, system where they automatically, they already have a capture page uh, set up for you, and for instance, you are running the same, you're using that and, some, and somebody else in your company is using that, and then you guys are both using the same vendor, you want to be able, you want to know when was the last time he ran a cop, uh, a, a solo ad for that person, because the reason is that if you you want to keep the list um, more responsible with time. So, so if you if that person ran a solo, uh, uh, if that person had ran a a, uh, a solo ads for another person in your company today or tomorrow or whatever, and then the next other days you run the same thing, it doesn't look like anything changed because remember your customers they don't see you, they see what's on their screen, you see the capture page. Right, so that's one of the reasons why I also like using custom funnels or custom capture pages. Um, you could build your own, so it doesn't matter if you guys have the same opportunity. You know, the capture page is going to be different. You know, the sales page may be the same, but the capture page is going to be different. But they don't know that. Right, so that's why I like using custom pages. But but if you're going to use a dump view system, ask them when was the last time they 
they did a they did do a run for somebody in your in your company and you want to be able to make sure that you're um you space it out two to three weeks apart because then the list is going to be more responsive okay also if the person if also another thing Check with them to see if they have a new list or they just got a new list that, or, they're getting a, or they have a big list every day. And then you may be able to do that. But like I said, building a relationship with your, um, building a relationship with your vendor is the only way you're going to find out those ins and outs if they're telling the truth or not. So that's why it's important to always build a relationship, all right? And um, so like I said, if the vendor sends out something, right, just, just sent out something within a week or two, you know, you don't want to use that vendor if you guys are using a dump your system. If you're using a custom system, um, it doesn't really matter, like I said, especially if the list is new. Custom, custom, custom is always the best way to go. The more you get your hands on custom stuff, and then you're doing it, it, it's better off for you to tell the truth. All right. Um, number four, um, you want to ask how long that the provider is going to actually send you. Um, how long the provider is going to send the list? Uh, if so, for instance, if you purchase 200 clicks, right, and um, and the vendor says it's going to take 72 hours. It's that's that's way too long. Most times that you, you buy, if you purchase 100, 200 clicks, the vendor can sell, uh, send that out in 20 within 24 hours, right? Now, if you're purchasing a thousand clicks, right? Um, most times 72 hours, the max, you know. And if you're new to solo ads, you know, you should run. If you're new to solo ads, you're gonna be running this. I suggest you run uh, about 100, 200 clicks to start off with, right? Because the first you want to do is you want to be able to know that um, the vendor you are a match. For his list, so if you're not getting much sales, especially if your 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 opportunity is based off of front end sales, you know you want to be able to his, his list is, is is a match with yours. So if you're not getting anything, and um, you know you're not going to want to purchase any more clicks from that. You want to be able to like you know say like just but the main point of getting you know these vendors to be able to have an arsenal of them, right? So if you have an arsenal of vendors where they're responsive to your list, you can always rotate them. You understand? So. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you want to start off always low. So if you get if you purchase 100 clicks and you have maybe um, seven to eight sales within those 100 clicks, that's a really good conversion rate. So you want to be able to scale up. So maybe you next the next one you want to run maybe 300, and then say so you get more sales from that. Then maybe the next one you want to run you want to scale up to 750 clicks, up to a thousand, even even more. But always test and test and test and track. All right. So that's one that's one of the um, reasons why you want to ask um, how long it's going to take for your provider. Or your, your vendor to uh, deliver the clicks. So number five, which is the most one of the most important ones, is pricing. You want to be able to no negotiate how much um, um, a price, right? So if you could negotiate the price with the vendor, um, negotiate for at least twenty percent underneath. That way you can come to an agreement. All right, and that's why I said, like I said, you know, building a relationship with um, building a relationship with your vendor is very very important because you'd be able to negotiate much better, right? Maybe you guys can. To figure something out, all right? So that's my number one source of getting more traffic to your website, all right? If you got some value from that, you know, you got some value from this, go ahead, like I said, go over ahead and, and head over to the bottom right of this the, the video and hit that bell button, you know what I'm saying? Hit that bell button, get notified. Get notified when I go live or upload a new video, all right? And like I said, while you're over there, you know, go ahead and subscribe to my, my YouTube channel and I got, I'll be uploading, like I said, I'll be uploading more videos on how I can help more people um, make money from home, all right? And if you want to know my number one recommended source for making money online, all right, my number one source for making money online, is, it's going to be in the description box, and I'll drop the link in the description box below. And also, if you need it, like I said, if you want um, my recommendations on um, an autoresponder and also how to use uh, um, uh, capture pages, it's going to be in the description box below. All right, guys? I'll talk to you all later. Peace.